you know, I'm listening to you and I just keep thinking, I just want to watch you with kids. That's what I keep thinking right now. I just, I want to watch you have one of these conversations with the students in your building and with your teachers. Cause I can just see it. Like I can, I can feel it through the, through the internet. internet. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate it. I mean, I, I love our students. I've only been in three schools in these 25 years and each one I've like loved to death. Like it's just a yeah. part of it. The school that I'm at now, a master charter shoemaker campus is in the same neighborhood that I grew up in. And I actually went to summer school in this school, um, my 11th yeah. grade year, when I was goofing off with chemistry. And Mr. Kiesel said, you've earned summer school. Um, and unfortunately, the first thing that I thought about was, how many times am I going to um, have to fight in that school? Because that was the reputation. Mm. And sure. so like that, that safety issue um, was really big. And again, I didn't think about it at the time, besides like, all right, it's like survival. Like, who am I? How many yeah. times am I going to have to rumble in this school? When I should have been thinking about like, how do I, you know, gain this knowledge in chemistry? How do I work yeah. harder than I had previously um, during during the year? And I think about how many students um, for all the different contexts, you know, we're talking mm -hmm. about like gun violence uh, recently, but how many times is safety and survival some of the first right. things that cross students' mind when they're, um, you know, going to school? Right. And just like I had that thought and that, that feeling, thousands of students have that feeling so we also Absolutely. have to you know make sure that we are creating those spaces um, that that honor the idea of safety you know yeah i think that that idea of safety is you know it, it crosses so many layers you know mm -hmm. there's certainly physical safety but i think there's a lot of intellectual mm -hmm. safety yeah, i think there's a lot of social safety mm -hmm. um you know we we talk so often about how do we get kids engaged how do we keep them engaged mm -hmm. um and we can put you know great projects in front of them or really cool assignments in front of them but if they don't feel intellectually safe socially safe physically safe it doesn't matter how brilliant or how inspired you know that curriculum is um they're not gonna they're not gonna interact with it right you're absolutely right i, I mean the, the idea when you, we and we know this intuitively we know this as professional educators and as you said mentioned earlier we have to make sure that we apply it every single moment every single time like right the we we know as adults and we know as educators that we learn from mistakes Yes, we do. So how carefully are we crafting an environment where it's safe to make mistakes, yep. right? It's safe to take risks. And that, that's where the learning is. And like, you know, are we given that grade and that's the grade? Or is it like, hey, you know, I can't wait to see the next edition of this, the next, the next time, like the next at bat, right? Yeah. Like baseball players are always talking about the next at bat. Not bat. That's what plays. What's the next shot? Like I'm thinking about the next shot, right? Um, yeah. We have to create that kind of environment in our classrooms and schools right. as well, where students are, you know, every scientist talks about how many mistakes they've made before they came up with the solution or before they solved yes. the problem. Oh, absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Right. And, you know, I love the, I, I love the, the, you know, the, the sports analogies, because I think that's, you know, it's something you can really kind of hang on to almost in a, in a daily like way, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, because I remember, I remember being on a basketball team where I was afraid that if I didn't make the shot, I was going to go to the bench. Yep. And so I was scared to death to do what I was actually really good at <laughs> yeah. because I was just afraid to go on the bench, <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. And that, and so we think about it in the classroom and, and yeah. hours a day. And if that's the, that, if that's yes. the uh, experience of students. And it's going to be much harder for them to, you know, engage and yep. grow and, and reach their full potential. And we have a big impact on that. We do. We do. So I think.